Hello to all the hair besties in the land. Guess what? Today is going to be is another exciting day of paranormal hair activity day. And you guys know what that means. We have our friend here in Germany. Hi. Her name is Frenny. Hello guys. But are you really our Frenny? Yes, I am. Okay, well I hope so because your hair doesn't look like it's going to be my Frenny. No, not yet. Turn around so we can see the horror that's happening back here. Okay, so this is her natural, but take a look guys, as I open her up and dissect her, there's the paranormal part is she has like level, it looks like a level, I like to say three, four dyes in the middle of her hair, and then it's bleach blonde down here. So natural, colored, and then bleach. So our goal is to bleach out everything and give her a denim look. Am I right, Frenny? You are totally right. Because you like bluish colors, am I correct? I do, totally. So we're trying to turn your hair denim-y blue. If it happens, if it happens. If it doesn't, it is not my fault. It's not. Who could it be? Can we blame you, Franny? Or who can we blame? We blame the weather. The weather, well, because the weather is quite fascinating here yeah. in Germany. Take a look. It's been raining and snowing and raining and snowing every single day here so we can blame that and not you. Are you ready to get started? Yes! Let's get started! Let's get started! Come on, hurry along So now. her hair requires a lot of what she calls bleach metal, which <laughs> means bleach! <laughs> So I'm gonna measure blondie lightener with one to three ratio because that's how I roll. And I'm gonna use the 30 volume. Okay, wish me luck because we're gonna need it because it's pretty paranormal today. Okay, how do you feel about having paranormal hair? I right. said I, I totally trust you, so do your thing. You know? And I sit here and uh, I'm curious. Sometimes I don't trust myself. Yeah, but I do. <laughs> Well, I'm glad somebody here does, because right now, we're just gonna pray. That's a lot. That's a lot of what? Of whatever. Sporting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get started. So here we are, you can see where there's a band of artificial coloration. So we're gonna have to bleach it out. And I feel like this is a situation that we can't predict what's gonna happen all the time. Sometimes I do color remover on it prior to bleaching it out, but we don't have that today. So we're just gonna bleach it out and see what happens, right? Yes. Friendy, are you are you nervous about this situation? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> She's not nervous yet. No. Well, I'm not that nervous either uh, because she's open to anything. You know, she says she preferred to have blue. But if I can't bleach this out, then guess what, guys? She's not gonna get blue. And then I said, you know what we're gonna get? You're gonna get orange. And Friendy, you say you cool with that? I uh, am. Yeah, we will die anyway. Yeah, either way, we're gonna die. Yeah, either way, <laughs> we're gonna die. Either way, we're gonna die, guys. So I'm just gonna place the primary focus down the middle part when I bleach this. And I'm not too concerned with, um, you know, using, you know, a bunch of like, uh, foils and cotton right now. I just need to get the product on there because I'm gonna have to go back in several times I feel like Once I get the bleach to lift where it needs to be then I'm gonna have to bleach the roots Then I'm gonna go back in and have to lighten the ends uh, Just to get rid of these the old toner that is there so it all varies uh, With how she lifts so this is very unpredictable right now because I don't know what type of dye she has in there So let's find out Okay <laughs> And because we don't want any mystery to come up. Let's see what's happening. Well, so far so good. And I'm gonna repeat this throughout Friendy's whole head. Friendy. Friendy! See, I can't say your name right. What kind of friend am I? Oh, it's, it's pretty difficult. Okay, good. Well, it's not just me then. <laughs> <laughs> so I apply the lightener throughout Friendy's hair. As you can see, it's warming up only on her left side. On the right side, 
Um, it's, it feels, it doesn't feel hot, but for some reason on the left side, it feels really hot. I kept off of her scalp, but if you look inside, it's actually turning kind of pink red in some areas. So she has a history of something over here on this side that's making it pull kind of pink. If you can see that there. So hopefully it pulls through. I mean, it's not severely orange, but I do think that we're gonna need some heat conduction. So what I'm gonna do is put a bag over her head. How you feel about me putting a bag over your head? I think I will die. You, well, hopefully we will be able to die at blue. So if this orange don't leave, then we're just gonna have to work with it. Let's show her your face. Show the world your face. He. Okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Okay. I think we're gonna make it through this. Let's put the bag over your head. Franny's back! Spin her around! Okay, so we bleach her and it appears she is still very, what we call this, orange? Blorange. Blorange. So it's pretty hideous. Uh, <laughs> if you look, the scalp is really light even though I did a 20 volume there and I did a 30 here and I even overlaid it with 40 again and I avoided the ends because I didn't want to damage that but it looks like it's still orange in the center that's where our paranormal situation is so we're gonna have to go back in and bleach it again bleach it bleach. <laughs> that's how I feel about your hair right now it's making me wanna burp okay let's get started <laughs> okay so what I had to do is go back and pre-line her hair. When I go in, you can see where her regrowth area or her rootage has almost like a hot root type of feel because that's the virgin hair. Here is where you're seeing the orange band and here is her overtone ends. I don't want to put any lightener on the ends because that's where she's been already bleach. So we don't want to compromise that. So I'm going to lift her hair up and I'm going to make sure I paint the underneath side because I feel like every time we foil, we always forget to um, penetrate all the way through. So then I go in and put the lightener vertically and make sure I penetrate all the way through. The worst thing we could do is go in and put a harsh line. So I don't want to do that. So it's, we're still creating a feather stroke, almost like how we would when we balayage. But the reason why I am incubating it is because I feel like when we incubate it with a mesh or a foil, we're able to trap the, the moisture in and the, the lightning becomes more even. So the first time around, I didn't do that, but now I feel like we have to go in and really tackle that orange band because we're not having it. I wanna kill this paranormal situation by going in there and attacking it right away um, with full force. So I am gonna overlay each section with a mesh, just like that, and I repeat myself on the way up. So you can see me literally just going in, tackling this band, doing the same motion and repeat over and over throughout her whole head. It's a little tedious, but trust me guys, it is totally worth it because you want even results. The worst thing we could do is put color over this uneven palette and you're not gonna get consistent color. It's gonna look splotchy and splotchy is not sexy. I don't like splotch, so I don't think anyone does. So I'd rather go in and take that time and make sure I get the color even. Even if it takes a few more hours or a little bit more work, I find that's a lot better if you do it this way. Trust me, you will be thankful that you do. We are back! We are back! And she is blonde! We didn't let the paranormal activity stop this. We got rid of the brassy orange band mm -hmm. that we didn't care about. Did you care about it? I I care what you care about. Okay, well then we don't care about it, neither do you. So, what I'm excited about is... Ta-da! <laughs> wow! Wow! I got a little bit excited there. We are so excited. I'm so excited! But I'm not scared anymore because the paranormal situation has been defeated like I'm a Ghostbuster. So anyway, we got Schwartz Coffee Gora, Colorworks, which is a direct dye system, color, you're able to Use it by itself. 
to create powerful potency of color or you can mix it with permanent and demi-permanent color which is an awesome technology guys which I am very excited about. Are you excited about it? I'm totally excited about it. You know, we should put these two colors back into your head because I know how much you love orange hair since you have that orange band. All this bleaching just to put the orange and yellow in. Just kidding, we're not doing that. We're gonna do blue. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my first it. formula, guys, is 95-22. This is one of my favorite shades. Um, it's gonna create a nice, smoky shadow and I'm gonna measure with a scale so I'm gonna measure it in grams I'm gonna use a full tube of this which is two ounce completely okay so in grams we are looking at 55 grams so I'm gonna do 55 grams of E1 this is also my favorite shade to create a charcoalized tone so um, the more E1 I put in, the darker it will look. And why did I lift her hair past a 9 to a 10 to create this? Well, the reason why, guys, is because I don't want warmth in her hair. If I only lift it up to an orange or a yellow, guess what? It's going to look like brown poop, which is okay if that's what you're looking for. But I don't want a poopy color. I want a color that looks a little bit more smoky. So you have to lift, lift it beyond this point. So here we go. Ooh, oh, speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of poop, well... I guess I just pooped out the color. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna mix it with 10 volume. Normally, sometimes I use seven volume, but today I'm gonna use 10 volume because actually, if you look at her scalp carefully, at her routage, there is a little bit of a, a yellowness to it. So I wouldn't call it exactly a 10, maybe a nine and a half. So using that 10 volume will give me an additional lift because it is a permanent color, okay? So here we are with the 10 volume, okay? so. Ooh. More poop. More poop. Ooh. I'm gonna poop on your head. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good memories. Okay. Ooh. God, that's a good one. Has a lot for breakfast there. There you go. And now we're gonna apply this at her routage to create that chateau that we all Here we want. Go. So I'm gonna split her head in half and I'm gonna put it down the center almost like I'm just doing a retouch. Very simple. I like to place this color down first, as if I'm doing a retouch, and then go back in and get creative. Uh, what I find is that when I do it like this, it's a lot more easier to apply the rest of the color because the hair will stay put. So let's spin her around. Turn around every now and then. A little bit. Terrified, Terrified of your paranormal activity. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys what's up back here. Split her now. I'm telling you guys, because if you guys try to do section by section, it takes longer because you have to put the shadow in and then put the color down. You have to wipe your hands. I find that when you go in and just hit the retouch first, you get it all out of the way. And the hair is able to lay where you want it because of the control at the, at the base. Now look at the retouch. You can see it's a lot more yellow than the hair out here. So the 10 volume is going to be your best friend. That 10 volume allows for additional lift with the ammoni ammoniated permanent color base. So that's why I choose to use permanent color over demi sometimes if you need additional lift. Um, also, what I find is sometimes with permanent color over pre lined hair, you do um, get a little bit of a, a, a matte touch to it, and there's nothing wrong with that. You think about makeup, there's like matte makeup finishes and sometimes there's a glossy makeup finish. If you're looking for a glossy makeup finish, I think it's great if, to use a demi-permanent color, demi-permanent acidic color, so you close that cuticle, add that shine in. But in this situation, I want a more, I wouldn't say distressed look, but more of a lived in vintage feel to the hair. So that's why I chose to use the permanent color instead. Uh, both options are fine. And remember, all color fades. So it doesn't matter if you're using permanent or demi, color fades anyway. So with that being said, you guys get to be creative and formulate accordingly and to make sure that beautiful color does start with healthy hair. So remember, you know, focus on the health of the hair first and then get creative from there. All right, guys, so my first formula is gonna be the 9529, which is the lavender, and I'm gonna mix it in with the mint, which is 95-43, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in, equal parts, throw that away. Now, don't call me unprofessional, we ain't got time. I'm trying to film this tutorial. Oops, gotta turn on that scale there. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it in equal parts. 
That's right, girl. Snapchat it. Let all your friends. Mix it in, baby. Yes. Okay, so there's that. And then next. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, the mints. And I love this. It looks like, you know, a little bit like baby poop also, which <laughs> I love. But here's the extra formula that I'm going to add in, guys. All right, here is the blue. I'm going to add in the blue color works direct dye, which is new. I'm super excited about it. It really looks like poop. I know. I'm going to actually put a lot in there. I'm going to put like 20 grams, okay? So I'm going to squirt in 20 grams because I want to. Because I'm a little excited. I want this thing to be potent. So we're going to make sure we get 20 grams. So that's about 20 grams. So you get to see all three formulas in one bowl. Here's the blue. And then there's the mint pearl essence and the lavender pearl essence. And I'm going to stir it out together. And we're going to mix it with seven volume. Because at this point, her hair is already light in the end. So I don't need the 10 volume there. So my next formula is actually going to be E1, 6-2-3, and 95. Uh, dash two nine. So the reason why I got the E1 in there because I want to still bring the smoke down So there's gonna be a variation between the two color and the two three is darker Than the mint so you're able to have a dark and light even though they're both are gonna have blue boost um, Blue direct dyes in them. Okay, here we go All right So we're gonna do about a t How many grams are we gonna do? We're gonna do 25 grams of E1 Okay, so you'll see that going so on. Now I'm gonna add the blue color works in 20 grams. I'm gonna squeeze her in. Okay, so it's gonna be super potent. Okay, so you get to see what this looks like in the bowl. So now you got both flavors right there. See, ta da! All right, so what I love about these bowls is you're able to add the tab in so you get to keep track of what color you mix of what. So which one's the darker one, which one's the lighter one. So that's how I'm going to keep track of what I'm doing. Okay, here. so the next formula is going to be 9543 and this is the mint and I'm going to add the green color works into it. Okay, so I'm going to do a full tube here. <laughs> she loved to Snapchat everything, don't you, Franny? I do! You love it! I love it. So all of your followers can see what's going on here. Yes. I'm gonna walk over, oh, it's right behind me. I'm gonna use this good stuff, color works, direct dye green, fun! Ah! Okay, okay, so again, I'm gonna do 20 grams because I want to, okay? Just because you Just want to. because I want Just to. And because you can. Because I can, because we are artists. And we're gonna be creative today. We're not gonna hold back on these colors. So now, again, I'm gonna tear the tab off of this to keep track of where I'm going and stick it into this little groove here. I think that's really cool. That's one thing I do like about these bowls. And then we're gonna mix the developer into the formulation so you get to see all of the concoction. This is cool. We have the blue, we have the mint. So let's get started. So as you watch me mix the color here, you can see the direct dye of color works is just going into the permanent color. And you can see how it just intertwines. And the blue direct dye didn't get eaten away. Most cases when we use uh, permanent color and direct dye together, you literally see the color eat away the direct dye. But in this case, you can see the technology is meant to uh, harmonize together and is able to be stabilized and live inside a permanent ammonia-based color, which is a rare technology that we don't see that often today in direct dye. So I think that's pretty cool. So this is the 6-2-3 and also the lavender, which is 9-2-9. Okay, mixed together with the blue. So here you'll see me mix the mint with the green. I want you guys to see how that green lives inside of that mint and how it looks here. Okay, look how beautiful that green looks. It's so pretty and it survives through that oxidative color. And you know, honestly to me, that's kind of unheard of. Uh, maybe there's something out there, but in this case, I never see a full range of uh, color line, at least in the US, that behaves this way. So I'm honestly really wowed by it and excited to use it. And share it with all the hair besties in the land. And then I'm gonna mix this one and then we're gonna get started. So the first formula is gonna be the dark one. So you can see I dragged the shadow down. 
So I'm going to go in and create a transition. So I'm going to do the darker formula which has the E1 in it as well and a 2-3. So I want to create a transition here and I'm going to blur it right through there leaving the ends out. So I'm going to drag this color directly over the charcoal base that you're seeing here. So that way there's a harmony and the color marries this way in. So there is no harsh demarcation line. I feel like if we just try to put it where the blonde is, there isn't a transition. So I'm just going to go in and mesh the color into the shadow. This is how we create harmony. And then get more product here. Got to make sure you penetrate. The thing about these colors, sometimes like if you don't spread the hair apart, I feel like it doesn't penetrate. So the, the key is to really spread it and swipe. Like I go in and I swipe it like this, as you can see. So swiping it in. And this one um, also has the blue direct dye in it, as you can see. So it's gonna give us a very earthy uh, or vintage uh, industrial feel because I injected the E1 into it. I intentionally injected the E1, which is you know like a smoky um, additive because I feel like it makes the color looks more, more lived in, more vintage. I think the vintage feel is what makes it wearable so it doesn't scream in your face. So what's really important is to, I know I have an amazing assistant with me. You should peek your head in really quick. <laughs> He's randomly <laughs> popping his head in. All right, so um, I, it's good to wipe your hands as you go, okay? All right, so then down here, I'm gonna go in with my lighter formula, which has the 2-9 um, and also the blue booster, okay? So this one has uh, violet and also the mint color, which is, this, uh, I believe, is the 4-3, okay? So there you go, okay? Look how pretty the color harmonized together. So it's still going to be lighter on the end. So we're creating a, a, a subtle ombre effect. But because that this one is both formula in it is a 9 and there's no E1 in it, it's going to appear a little bit lighter. So it gives it a dimension without the harsh contrast. Uh, then as I move up, I'll switch to the mint formula. So that way there's several variations of cool tones. And remember to keep wiping your hands as you go because you don't want to contaminate the colors and make them blend too much. You still want a separation between the color, but you still want it to blend at the same time. So having a harmony between the two is very important. Wipe as you go. Okay, so next section, I like to use my pinky and I just kind of go in and I kind of watch where the hair lays. Okay, so here, okay, I am gonna put more of the mint color, so that way it breaks it up and separates. So you can see the green in my brush, okay? And it looks a lot more green than it appears, trust me, because um, uh, I did use the pearlescent, so the color is softer, but I boosted up with the Color Works Direct Dye. Okay, so I'm gonna go in like that, kind of bring it through. And maybe this, I want it to be more reverse. I don't, I know that this is gonna be the brightest color. I don't necessarily need this to go all the way down. Sometimes I want the ends to collapse and that way there's an in and out and it creates a holographic, uh, a hologram type of feel. I feel like we tend to want to ombre everything. But if we just go in and kind of just place the color where we want it and stop worrying about the ombre part, the color actually looks more creative that way. All right, guys, we are done. Turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> and I need you now, tonight. And I need you more than ever. Woo! That was awesome. We did her hair, and it looks like ocean waves. Yeah! How do you feel, Franny? I feel amazing. I feel good. Mwah. I'm in love. Like I knew that I would now. What I love is that the color works is so much fun. As you can see, you can add it to the color. Those of you guys who have tried pearlescence before, you guys know it, it's muted, soft, and smoky. But adding that little bit of color works in there just kind of give it that glow. That's what I like about it. Now, you guys can use it alone to give super bright, vivid results, or you guys can make it look a little bit more softer by putting it to a permanent color, as you can see. I think Franny loves it. How do you feel besides feeling good? Ich fühle mich fantastisch. What? What's that mean? I said in German, I feel fantastic.
Can I say that too? Say fantastisch. Fantastisch. Yeah. Yes, yes, I did it. Well, your hair looked fantastic. <laughs> the color looks amazing. I love it. I love as, it. As you can see, the fantastic color. All the tones are flowing through. We're obsessed. Are you obsessed? I'm totally obsessed. I know they are too. Yes. yes. I feel like a mermaid. Oh. A denim mermaid. A denim mermaid. You know what? Originally, we're like, let's do denim. But then I got kind of excited. I said, let's add ocean waves and deep sea tones into it. And that's when the green came in. I was like, you know what? Let's do this. I think she owned it. What do yes. you think? Yay! Yes, Leave comments below. Tell us how you feel. If you like Freddie's color. And if you guys are curious about the pearl lessons with the color work. So if you guys ask questions, I'll try my best to answer everything. Click thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments and all that good stuff. I'll leave links for you to stalk Franny on Instagram. Yes, and it's Franny else? Frost. Franny Frost, okay. Do you have like a, a, a website too? My website is uh, neverever.me. Neverever.me, y'all. All right. Love you most. Bye-bye.